Um, I was watching on a TED, a TED presentation. It was a woman named Patricia Ryan who teaches English in Dubai. And, and uh, uh, her, the topic of her presentation was don't insist on English. And she raised some interesting questions uh, that uh, English is not just a common language. It is also serving as a barrier to a lot of people uh, who might otherwise advance, who might otherwise uh, uh, produce something or make a contribution to society that would be enormous, except their ability in a foreign language, English specifically, is minimal. They have a poor grasp of English. And uh, we we who teach English to speakers of other languages are, are standing as kind of the gatekeepers f for these these young people to make their contribution to the world. And it could be, it is quite possible, it could be a significant contribution to the world. But English is, is the wall of separation between their magnificent contribution, potentially, and uh, a wonderful future for all of us. But if you go over to our university here in South Korea, I see kids all the time with textbooks in English, and not just simple textbooks, like fourth grade geography or something. These are university grade textbooks written in English by native speakers for native speakers, and these kids have to read them. One of the things that got me thinking about this was recently at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, there were several suicides, student suicides, and I think there was also a professor who committed suicide, I'm not sure. And uh, I got to reading about the university, K-A-I-S-T, and uh, they have a new president, and the new president initiated a policy of almost all classes being taught in English. This is Korea. These kids grow up speaking Korean. English to them is an academic subject. They don't grow up speaking English. Uh, they study English. So f for them to, these bright minds get into the Korean Institute of, of Science and Technology, which is a really high level university, and all of a sudden they're stymied by one thing, their ability in a foreign language, specifically English. Now these are minds, these are kids which could conceivably have cures for some of our worst diseases or breakthroughs in science and technology that would revolutionize our world, and yet they're stopped. There's a, a wall, there's a barrier. And that barrier is English, and it's wrong. In my opinion, it's wrong. If you want to have a university in English, then you had better start your society on the road to using English as a second language and not just in an academic subject as it is now. You have to insist on English being used in society. The answer is not these kids all of a sudden have to use English when they go to university. And it's not just an English class. It's like every damn subject is in English. Even the, the science, this science and technology, I mean, this is pretty high level English they would need. But are the professors, is, are the professors' abilities in English up to the task? It's not just the students. So you got these, these really technical subjects being taught in English as a foreign language to the professor. It's a foreign language to the professor. It's a foreign language to the students. They have the ability to use their own natural native language on both sides, professor and student. But this new president at KAIST says, no, it's got to be done in English. Which brings into question the quality of teaching. If 
English is not a native language for the professor. Or if he's not well skilled in the language, he is not going to be teaching to the best of his ability. He's not going to be presenting the subject as it should be presented. If the students do not have English as a native language or they are not well skilled in English, they are not going to learn the subject as well as they could. So, uh, in my opinion, uh, the new president, President So of, of uh, the Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, should be fired and they should rethink their policy of English only at that university. And that's my two cents from Mike in Korea for all it's worth.